What is up everyone and welcome back to another Ref6 weekly vlog. So we've made it to April now, so it's the beginning of the end. Uh, I have six games left plus a mystery game at the end of the season to finish now. Uh, my finish looks like my season looks like it's gonna finish on the 2nd of May. Um, so as it stands, these are my fixtures for the rest of the month. As you can see, I have a game on the 9th, which is this week, and it is Bognar versus East Thurrock. And then I have one middle, which is New Haven, and then uh, that's the end of the season for me. Fingers crossed, you never know, for a playoff or a cup final. But that is it so far um, for April. It's a busy month again, uh, but I'm very much looking forward to it. We've been out with the referee before this month. It is Kieran, obviously a Ref6 user and a level 3. So hopefully we can get him back on the vlog. Back to Bognar, which was a great setup, but the fans were a bit how would we say hostile the fans are a bit hostile so we go back there again hoping for a better game um so yeah come along for the ride i'm looking forward to it it's monday today and i will catch you guys probably friday for a catch up about how my training's gone what i've done this week uh and then obviously preparing for match day minus one so i'll catch you guys in a bit so it is friday it's match day minus one it's friday evening in terms of training this week, it's been chest and tries, back and bars, like the standard weight workout, because that's what I've got into, as well as like a tempo run sort of thing today. So match day minus one ended up being about 7k of like walking, jogging, running. Um, obviously, fitness set season is fast approaching. And with the announcement of the new fitness test, it's just something I'm not full on going for. because It's not the end of the season yet, but it's something in the back of my mind that I'm preparing for. Um, we're going to release a video shortly about it. Uh, about how to go about things and uh, what the test actually entails so how you can prepare for it so keep an eye out for that one um but obviously that's now fast approaching so i believe it's the first one starts in june there's one in july august and september um that's what the first four they've announced so far um so yeah that's just in the back of my mind at the moment because it's slightly changed uh, it's not just a 12 minute run anymore there's a walk jog run so that's what i did today in terms of tomorrow, it's going to be a nice, easy day. Same pre-match as always. You know, go for a walk in the morning, listen to a podcast. Um, so, yeah, the weather looks like it's going to be grim overnight, but it, the pitch is going to be great. There's no issues there. So, that means that the pitch will be soft. It'd be nice to play football on. Uh, we should get a good game going, basically. Um, so, yeah, that's been today and the rest of the week. So, I will catch you guys tomorrow morning for match day. Let's bring it. Good morning, everyone. So it is match day. Uh, it is looking like a great day in terms of the weather and the sun. The time is quarter past nine. As always, in and up and around the same time. I know some people that sleep all the way through till basically 12 o'clock and get up and go, which is quite interesting. Uh, not the way I'd go about things, but, you know, each to their own. So the weather looks great. It's about four degrees out. So it looks like it might be long sleeve mid layers uh, and under armors today, as always. We are being assessed as well. So... Tomorrow potentially will be the debrief. Um, but in terms of today, as always, I'm going to go out for a pre-match walk in a minute. Um, and then I'm going to have some pre-match meal. Don't know what that's going to be. And then I'm going to pack my kit bag, which is here currently, you know, getting ready to be laid out. So that's the plan so far. I will probably catch up with you guys as I am having my pre-match meal. But I'm very much looking forward to the game. Uh, we've got to leave. I've got to leave at about 12 o'clock. Referee wants us to get there slightly earlier than normal which is no problems and no traffic and stuff but again it's not my day it's the referee's day and if he's calm and relaxed it makes the day easier for us because you know just a relaxed team is better i know personally if i'm you know hyped up and anxious as a referee my it my assistants suffer uh so yeah you know we support the referee that's our job my job today and the other assistant is it's our job to support him um, and yeah, if he wants to get out of there slightly earlier for his peace of mind, so be it. So that's the plan so far. I will catch you guys in a bit. So the time is 11.21 and I have done my pretty much meal because I've got to leave in 40 odd minutes to get to the meeting point and then meet the referees. So this is pretty much today. Slightly different today. So I've gone for an omelette with mushrooms, spinach, eggs, onions and chorizo. Uh, with obviously hot sauce, so so a nice pre-match meal actually. I'm quite looking forward to this. Plenty of energy that this will give me as well as my tablets and gels if needed. The referee said he was providing Lucozade today, which is very nice. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to eat this up, 
chill out for maybe 10, 15 minutes, pack my bag, and then shoot off, really. So, so far, so good. It's a nice day. I don't know if you can see out there, um, but it's still quite cold. So probably still going to be in long sleeves, uh, but I'll obviously pack both just in case. So I will catch you guys when I'm packing up my kit bag. Okay, so it is time to pack up the kit bag. Uh, it should be fairly straightforward today because it's a line, so I don't have to take anything sort of over the top, really, like no flags, you know, no massive amounts. I think I'm junior as well today, so I don't even really need a pad because obviously everything's on the watch, um, which is on 90%, so I might just put it on charge for the next 15 minutes uh, just to make sure it's topped up to 100. Um, so this is the kit for today. So we've got long sleeve under armour, under shorts, FA badge, so the Fomar badge today. Boot body spray, boots as always. Uh, I'm going to use these on the line today because, you know, why not give them a go? Because um, I think they're so comfortable, but I've not used them on the line yet, so I'm going to give them a go. Box of tricks, socks, tablets. This is the warm up stuff, so obviously got shorts here. Plain warm up t shirt and the new FA with the Fomar badge. Towel, wash bag, bag with spare boots in it. And it's also got a spare Under Armour in it as well. Um, so that's the gear, nice and light today. Nothing too stressful. I'm just looking forward to the game, really. Um, I've just got to do my hair. And yeah, that's really all I can do. So pack this stuff up, uh, chill out for five minutes and then jump in the car, I think it's going to be. Uh, it is a beautiful day. It's just a little bit on the chilly side in the wind. So just got to be aware of that because obviously you want to be warm, especially running the line, because if you're cold, you're more focused on how cold it is and trying to warm up than the actual game itself, especially if we're being assessed. So yeah, let's give this a go and I look forward to the game. Okay, so it's time to go. As always, my pre-match, oh, my watch is over there, still on charge. As always, my pre-match playlist is here. So go check it out uh, on Spotify. And then you can listen to what we're listening to on our pre-matches. Um, I haven't got a far to go today, so it shouldn't be too difficult. So I won't be listening to it for very long and then catch up with the boys. Haven't seen him for a while. So yeah, it's gonna be nice. Let's get this show on the road. I'll catch you guys at the ground. Okay, so I'm back from the game. Um, how do I explain that? Good and bad. Um, first half was really easy. Um, up until, I don't know, for me, nothing. For the referee, it then got a bit gritty about 40 minutes in and Bogno went 1-0 up. And, um, yeah, just got a little bit bit gritty. We ended up with two yellows at halftime. One for the, or three yellows, one for the manager two for players, one, only, yeah, yeah, I'll go into that in a minute, um, so then we had <laughs> half time, where we were discussing it, and we are like, yeah, nothing's happening too much, for me personally, holding the line was quite difficult, Bogner, I had Bogner attacking in the first half, which was quite difficult, they had some really good runners off the ball, 
um, so keeping in line and they were like curving their runs. So I was really having to focus, which was fine. Got no issues with that. Um, second half, just erupted in terms of players, fans, spectators, managers. I was on the far side, so I wasn't doing the benches, but it just seemed to erupt. Um, it was a bit cagey. There was a few, not big challenges, but there was a little bit of a mask on. And there was just loads of stuff going on. And Kieran just couldn't do right by the players. I think he had a great game. Um, you know, everyone has a bit of development. And, you know, we said that his caution technique needed to be a little bit better. But I think really heavy about that. Like mine needs to be better. Um, but it just seemed as if he'd give a foul, easy foul, um, Bogner unhappy. He'd give an easy foul the other way, and then he started to run happy. Like, he couldn't win. Um, in terms of me, I kept relatively out of the way up until about the 88th minute, where I ruled out a goal for East Thurrock, and then that caused quite a few issues. Um, because the players weren't listening, basically, ball comes over the top. I don't know if we're going to get the match footage, but the ball comes over the top. Defender, but the centre-backs are the six for East Thurrock, who are attacking, heads the ball across, and a player heads it in. And the player that heads it in is offside, but I got my flag up early because I already knew he was active and playing the ball. And the six gave me all sorts of congratulations to say how well I'd done. And he wouldn't listen, so I'm saying, it's not you that's offside, it's the far, like the far end, the uh, goal scorer. But he wasn't listening, so that's fine. And then almost a minute later, he started, went on the attack. The Bogner five sat deeper, leaving quite exposed. And the East Thurrock seven got the ball in between the line and then broke through. And everyone thought it was offside because I don't I honestly don't understand how people thought it was. So I've gone from hero and villain to hero and villain. Uh, and that's quite tough to take because especially in the last five minutes when everything's getting a bit cagey, um, especially for an equalising goal, you know, I've ruled an equaliser out and then I've allowed an equaliser to stand. It can be quite tough because especially the referee will take stick regardless, but can run away from certain areas. I've got the fans behind me just giving me grief now. And a lot of them don't understand or they're in a different angle to me. So it's tough. But it is what it is. And, you know, I will talk about that with the assessor and debrief that. Um, so, you know, I've got my debrief at eight o'clock. The time now is half six. So the plan is just chill out, have some food, um, watch a bit of TV and, you know, do the debrief. I'll chat to you after the debrief and see what the assessor says. Um, but yeah, it was a bit gritty, you know, I don't know what the assessor would think about the offsides. I think I got them right, um, but I was in line and I'm convinced I got them right. Um, like even thinking back on it, yeah, I got them right. So yeah, we'll have a look. We'll see uh, what the assessor says and if he's got any development for me. Um, I worked hard for the game today. I worked hard for the referee. Um, and yeah, I will talk to you about the debrief and the mark, not the mark, and my refsic stats after the debrief. So for now, let's just chill out and... We'll see whatever ha whatever happens, happens. It's a bit of a tough day. But yeah, so far, so good. Hello, everyone. So it is a Wednesday now. Obviously, back from the Bogner game Saturday. It's been a couple of days. Had the debrief. And now I've got the assessment through. So I am just going to run through it. Nothing major. It should be a quite a quick run through. Unfortunately, we don't have any match footage. Because um, it's probably one of the games that you want the match footage from. In terms of you know all the cards we had. I ruled out a goal. Um, so, yeah. If we look at my report, obviously, like I've always said, it's split down into three sections. First one being offside, second one being support the referee, third one being generic skills. So, the first one is 1.1 for offside, is concentration levels to provide appropriate, accurate advice and judgment. And I got an outstanding, which is top notch. We love to see it. Um, and it said, you awarded four offsides in this game, the 6th, the 36th, the 83rd, the 88th, um, and you were level with the second last defender and always facing the field of play where possible. The last was important as Thurrock had scored and you were quick to raise the flag, 
very little player reaction. You also have waited for the ball to be placed um, up with the kicker. You looked alert and made the effort to keep up with the second rearmost defender, which is good. I obviously spoke about ruling out a goal um, earlier in the vlog, and I was obviously quite concerned about that. So, you know, I feel good that the assessor has sort of noticed that and backed me. A lot of the grief I got from that game wasn't because they all thought that I flagged the initial header, but the guy that headed the ball was offside. Um, so it's quite hard to explain on the line, especially when they're very hyped up. So, you know, you have these instances, shall we say, where that happens and it's very hard to get your point across because they don't want to listen. They're adamant they're right. So you just have to let it go. And, you know, I, had a, I ruled out the away goal in front of the away end fans. So that didn't go down as well as, it, you know, as expected, really. Um, the other two I got expected, standard expected, which is fine, which is ensure advice is accurate and demonstrates an understanding of the laws of the game. Um, supporting the referee, he said I awarded just one Law 12 free kick in the 47th minute when the home team seven adjusted to foul the away 11 just in front of you. The referee awarded it straight away. I'm sure you could have come on with a few others, but the referee managed the game. Um, all three officials, you kept control of the thrower, which is fine. I could see you bringing back the away through a few yards and you kept it tight all the match eye contact was made um, at all times with the referee so this is good this is basically just saying I did my job quite well obviously we take the throw-ins on by just saying my way of going about things is I talk to the player and say if you start there by the time you've taken your two or three steps you would be in the right position and they're usually quite accepting of that there are a few left backs that don't like being told to start there they want to obviously take the yards as you know most football players do but it is what it is um like you said i could have come in with a few more free kicks um but obviously we're told that sometimes less is more and you ask yourself as a referee do i want this flag probably not is it a little bit too far away um and kieran had it all under control anyway to be fair like there was no reason for me to get involved everyone was listening to him like he did have the respect of the players and they did get on with the decision they were just whiny um which is fine it is what it is and then generic skills i got above standard so i got above standard expected in that um and there was a mass confrontation which i then got above standard expected in for has the confidence to offer advice when required we basically gave out two yellows i gave out well we both came out with the same people all three of us so we all had to meet um, have a quick chat, deal with two yellows for adopt an aggressive attitude. Um, so that was all good. Um, it's a good teamwork, so that's obviously great. We're really a good team. I knew both Dan and Kieran um, for quite some time now. So, you know, it works quite nicely when you're in that team, you know how each other work, you know, you've got that good like rapport, chemistry. So that, that makes it a lot easier. Um, I've got above standard ex um above standard expected in my clear signals he said my signals were good with direction held in the, the correct amount of time and completed in a calm manner uh, good offsides free kick good eye contact eye contact is obviously a big one so if you're looking to be you know an assistant referee just always make sure you're looking at the ref there's this big sort of perception that you've got to be looking straight when you give the flag if you're looking at the referee you can't go wrong because if the referee decides that he's going to play an advantage and you're standing there straight dead pan, then how are you going to see what's going on? So my advice to you guys is always look at the referee. And it's picked me up, you know, an extra half a mark. So, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it's helped me. Um, but it is also massively important. Um, and then I also got another one saying, takes up a square position. And I've picked up more marks for that. Um, on the field of play, so basically just crabbing all the time. It is tough and it hurts your calves, um, but it does make making decisions a hell of a lot easier. Um, and then overall, he said, good work today. I have no real advice to offer you on your flag work, your fitness, which you did in, quite, in a quiet and professional manner. I wish you the success for the remainder of the season. So, you know, great comments. Um, I'm quite enjoying my lines this year. Last year was a little bit of a struggle. Um, they were just boring. Maybe I'm getting better games, going out with people I like more, so it makes the day more enjoyable. 
Um, so overall, 73. Um, we've just been told that the league average is 72.4. So above the average, which is great. Um, so, you know, very happy with this. You know, 273s on the bounce, I believe, uh, in terms of that. So it, overall, it's been a good season for me, both in the middle and on the lines. So very happy. Um, but that's been this part of the vlog. It's slightly longer than I expected. Um, with no match footage but you know deep diving these are where we get the real juicy parts of how people perceive us um, from the outside world like everyone can say yeah on oh, gut feel like a good game but when it's written down like this you know it makes it a lot easier to understand and pick up points about you know if you've got major developments like I've said you know I had one earlier in the season and now I'm getting marks back for it so so far so good and I will catch you guys later in the vlog. So that has been the vlog this week. A bit of a mad one in terms of, you know, a tough game to do. But, you know, still enjoyed it. Coming towards the end of the season now, which is, you know, for me, a positive. Um, I'm feeling a bit fatigued now coming to the end. Um, but, you know, we keep moving. And I think I've only got about four weeks left until the season's officially over. So we just pass and grind through these last couple of weeks. Not grind through, but... We just get through these last couple of weeks. Uh, but thank you very much for watching as always. Please like and subscribe and I will see you at the next Ref 6 weekly vlog.